Gavin Birch, I'm here doing another stupendous cigar review. Today's cigar is the La Gloria Cubana Series N, Serie N, no S. And this is a classic cigar for me. I've been smoking it for a very long time, years and years. It's got a gorgeous Oscuro wrapper, which is a, a very dark wrapper. Some Series Ns are like jet black. This one is actually more of a dark brown and you can see they have a nice little in there it looks like they used a lighter shade wrapper to or lighter shade leaf to cut out a little tiny in and then you know paste it on there you got the la gloria cubana nice band so this cigar originates from the dominican republic and it has a nicaraguan and nicaraguan binder and nicaraguan filler leaves smells like a sweet tobacco. This one is in a Toro size and it has, looks like a double cap. The wrapper is a little bit rough, but not too, you know, that's typical with darker sun-grown wrappers. They're thicker and they're a little bit more rough, but I could barely see the seams. Not quite toothy, a little bit, a little bit smooth for a dark wrapper and it's a little bit prominent veins, but again, that's typical for a darker uh, sun-grown wrapper. So let's get it cut up and start smoking. Wow, off the first light, very full-bodied. I'm getting a creamy charcoal, almost bitter leather or bitter really really dark notes like bitter charcoal little bit of leather and a, a cream definitely a little bit of a cream no sweetness just a lot of bitter dark cream and charcoal really really full bodied off the first light we'll see if it tones down the full bodiness or if it's just going to stay a full bodied smoke the whole cigar anyway Bold start. Let's let it heat up and we'll get into the first third. All right, so we're about 13 minutes into this cigar. As you can see, it's burning very well. The draw is perfect and it's, it's a very consistent pack, so I'm not expecting any burn issues. But yeah, so top marks on construction so far. I now remember why I've been smoking this cigar for so long. It's, it's like a full bodied cigar, but it has a creamy taste. So the, the flavor profile for this cigar so far in the first third is like a smooth cream off the, the beginning of the draw. And then it transitions to a wood, earth, leather, coffee on the finish and it has like a long earthy and leather uh, finish. So that's a little bit unique. You know, most full bodied cigars don't have a cream component. Many cigars that are creamy are, tend to be like a, a nice Connecticut shade wrapper. And I love a smooth, creamy, sweet Connecticut shade wrapper cigar in the mornings with a cup of coffee. But to get a dark cigar with dark notes, but also have a nice cream to it, that's, that's unique. I'm going to keep smoking this and I'll get back in touch with you guys during the second third. All right, so we're about 36 minutes into this cigar. As you can see, we're getting right to the end in the burn. It's not burning perfectly straight. There's like a, there's like a little hole there or something, but it hasn't bothered the draw or the burn. So far it's performing beautifully. It's come down in body. Now I would say it's a medium smoke. Still not really feeling any effects of the nicotine, so no strength yet. Flavor wise, it's transitioned to more of a cedar and then a burnt coffee with a leather finish. You really get uh, a nice smooth cedar wood on the retro hail. I'm gonna keep smoking and I'll get back in touch with you during the third third. Oh 
Okay, one hour, 10 minutes in, getting very close to the band. I had to slide the band down a little bit. Flavor-wise, I would say this last third has trans transitioned back to a full-bodied smoke. It was a full and then it was a medium in the second third and now it's, a now, now it's back up to a full-bodied. Still no strength and the flavors primarily are like a smoked meat. I almost wanted to say charcoal but it's so meaty so I'm gonna say it's smoked meat. Smoked meat, coffee or eh, okay. Smoked meat, espresso and very oily on the mouthfeel with like an earthy finish. It's been oily throughout the whole cigar, but I would say, especially in the third third, the oily mouthfeel has ramped up. Final smoke time is, we're probably gonna say one hour, 15 minutes, so a little bit of a fast burner for Toro. Most Toros burn for maybe an hour and a half, hour, 40 minutes if they're slow, but this is about hour, 10 minutes, and it's starting to get warm, so I'm gonna end it soon. If you really wanted to, you can get another five minutes out of it. Final thoughts. This is a great cigar for someone to try if they're new to smoking full-bodied cigars because the strength is low. And these are affordable. No complaints with the draw or the burn. Didn't have to touch it up at all. So flawless construction. I would recommend it to anyone. And with that, I'm gonna end it. Keep enjoying your smokes, everybody.